Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane. We're going to be going back into the past so we can explore some of my early videos here on YouTube. Now, I'm going to give you a quick little synopsis of my uh, you know, YouTube career and then what we're going to be doing is that I'm just going to be watching some of my older videos and I'm going to do some comments on it and stuff like that and we'll go from there, right? We're just going to have some fun with this today because Again, guys, I have been on YouTube since 2015. Um, I think my first upload was in October of 2015, and you're gonna see that here. All right, guys, so like I was saying, this is my first episode ever, my first upload ever, period, end of story, October 29th, 2015. Hello, my name is Jose Arteaga, and I'm CEO of Redo Publishing. This is going to be the first of many videos that is going to be education on the subject of a near zero marginal cost and what the Internet of Things is. All of us out there are, you know, about to embark on the future. Uh, the Jetsons, Back to the Future, ideal that we've uh, all envisioned, you know, in all kinds of uh, movies and books and all kinds of things like that, uh, is actually upon us. Uh, we're, we're already here. We already have all the technology. We have pretty much everything we need in order to build this future. The thing is that we need you. We need you guys, okay? And we already have plenty of tech people on board, you know, in all aspects, where it comes to analytics or, you know, you know, just just building it, you know, all the tech stuff is out there. Thing is that we need actual people to build this internet of things. Um, we need uh, everyone to do their part, whatever it is, whatever it is that you love, whether it's gardening or, you know, babysitting <laughs> or talking about guitars and guitar strings or it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, there's a place for you out there in the internet. Man, seems like I haven't really changed my tune much, huh? Seems like I've uh, pretty much, uh, in a sense, you know, kept on with the same, you know, rhetoric. Uh, I guess, you know, telling you guys the same thing. It's funny because as I'm watching this, I'm thinking to myself, man, I should really start going back to basics. I know I touch on that near zero marginal cost stuff and all that good stuff and the technology, but I don't really talk about it much. I need to start making an effort to do that every single week. We'll watch a few more seconds and then uh, we'll move on. We all need to be connected, you know? The world gets smaller and smaller each day because, as we know, every time that we log on and we post a picture on Instagram or Facebook or any type of interaction with anything, whether we're, you know, gambling or whether we're, you know, just on a website chatting about flowers, <laughs> we're not necessarily chatting with our neighbor. You know, we're chatting with someone in China, we're chatting with somebody in uh, Russia, or who knows, Australia, another part of the world, or it could actually be your neighbor, you know, you just never know. But what I'm trying to get at is that, you know, as the all this is growing, we're all getting more and more connected, and there's more of a need for social and humanity in the internet. Because right now, all, all you need to do, whenever you're stuck or want anything, you know, you just go on Google, and you just search and you come up with any kind of video that's going to teach you anything from gardening to being a barber to just you name it, you know, cleaning your carpet, any kind of tips on anything. But doesn't it suck when you are when you go on there and you actually search for something and you can't find it? Man, of course it does. Now all you have to do is, is what happens is that you have to go back to the old school way of going through things and, you know, not searching through Google, but actually, you know, going through a book, doing your research, or actually, you know, uh, <laughs> just failing and just going through the motions. So what happens is that a lot of times, some of us, you know, we document these things and we put them on the internet and we are contributing to the collaborative comments. But sometimes we don't. And sometimes, you know, we find this neat new trick to fix our car that wasn't on the internet before, and instead of sharing it with everybody, we just don't. So, my mission, our mission, what I want to do, what this whole revolution is, what step one of this whole revolution is, is that 
I think we should all start sharing a little more. You know, the more we share, the more knowledge is out there, the, the, the better the world, you know, the better we can make the world. So wow, damn, man. So at the end of the day, it doesn't seem like I changed at all. I haven't changed much at all. It really is, uh, you know, I've uh, pretty much stuck to my guns from, from always. Uh, you know, a lot of us, you know, and we know, I know we change and uh, things happen. You know, we change. It's been 10 years and it's been five years. And we all know that there's been changes. But, like, uh, sometimes when you look at something like this and it's like, I look at back at something like this and I'm like, oh, wow. You know, I've changed, but I've not really changed. I've only gotten better at trying to, you know, or explaining these things or do these things and yeah man it's i'm really glad i watched this uh all right so now back to the rest of the episode and then uh well we got a whole bunch of other sh you know uh things that we're gonna watch here so hope you guys are enjoying today's episode so far taking a little trip down uh youtube memory lane wow i can't believe that i uploaded that video four years ago in fact over four years ago that was my first ever upload um Back then, how I got on YouTube, how I started making videos was basically, you guys know the little story. I was hanging out with my friend Abe. He said to me, hey, can you help me film something? I said, yeah. I grabbed the camera and um, that's it. You know, basically I fell in love with that craft and that art all over again. I was something that I was doing. It was, you know, I was around video and photography since a young age. You know, part of my family was in the restaurant business. Another part of my family was into video and photography. And um, I was kind of like always around it. And um, I, I chose to go down the chef career. But the reality is, is that, you know, I had both in my blood. And later on in life, you know, when I was with my friend and I picked up that camera again in my mid 30s, I was like, oh, wow, wait a minute. This is what I want to do. This is really what I want to do. And especially when I started editing, and I started, you know, playing around with all these toys. And especially when I started uploading the YouTube, you know, one thing just led to another. And uh, yeah, four plus years later, I'm here. Here we are. Um, so many adventures, so many uploads. In fact, over 800 uploads since then. Um, you know, sure, out of the 800 uploads, uh, maybe we can say 100 or live streams, maybe uh, 150. But still, that's a lot of uploads, a lot of videos that I have created um, that have nothing to do with um, a, a live stream. Because live streams, you know, I don't edit. I don't really count those. Those are just, you know, you flip on the switch and that's it. These are, even this one takes a little bit more time to create. Um, but as you're going to be seeing in the videos that I'm going to be watching today, um, this journey was something that, you know, did not happen overnight. It started off pretty rough and, um, you know, started off, you know, with me wanting to talk and morphed into a vlog. Then that vlog, you know, the vlog of, uh, the, the typical vlog you see nowadays, you know, uh, where you see people, you know, just a little, um, it's a little mini movie of their day, of a day in their life. So again, I started with the talking, then I went into like making the little mini movies. Then I left YouTube for a little bit for a little over a year. And then in late 2017, I got back on YouTube doing this, which is again, just talking to the camera. And then I started creating again, you know, and uploading again and um, making little mini movies doing things like this, you know, the regular typical vlog and so on and so forth. So, you know, there was, um, you know, there's a lot of growth. It's a lot of changes in my channel. They're going to see a lot more changes. You know, this is why I'm also making this video because if you, you know, as you're going to see, um, I used to do things like cooking videos and, uh, and more like the little mini movie type vlog type stuff. And as you guys also know, um, for a lot of you guys that watch my channel on a regular basis, I also create these videos now on a regular basis. We're living out here in Mexico. And so I want to keep making those and I want to make all kinds of videos like that. You know, whether it's uh, cooking some typical Mexican food or cooking my own Cuban recipes or cooking anything, you know, um, I want to do that. I want to go out and, you know, do more of the vlogging and showing you guys not just of Merida, but everything else is out here, out here and so on and so forth, you know. Um, take it up a notch, you know, when it comes to the journalism perspective and just keep growing and keep giving you guys all kinds of awesome content that you guys seem to enjoy all the time. So, um, well, with that being said, what I'm going to be doing right now is that we're going to cut to um, me watching my videos and um, hopefully I don't 
take too long doing that, but regardless, I know we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, I'm just gonna pick some random videos, um, and uh, that's it. We're just gonna watch them, and we're gonna go from there. So, all right, without further ado, let's go down the rabbit hole. All right, guys, yeah, I thought it'd be easier if I moved my head down here. So, we already saw the first episode all the way down here that I filmed. And then I subsequently, you know, did a bunch of little uploads here and there. You know, obviously not much success. You can see, you know, um, I have, um, you know, just little snippets of things. I did. A, I actually made, this is my first ever trailer here. In fact, let's watch this one real quick. Might as well. My first trailer ever. My first thing ever, ever. Really, the first thing ever edited. This is the first thing I ever edited. All right, hold on, hold on. This is the first thing I ever really, like, edited. This is my friend Abe King there. That's my best friend. That's the one I told you that got me to do everything. And that's in Olympic Park in Seattle, right where I used to live right by there. And this guy subsequently, he opens, he's opened up his own restaurant now. I iconic, iconic, or something iconic, over there in Seattle, award-winning chef. The name's Toshi. That's Jose. Talking shit as always. Toshi, master chef. Abe King, my best friend in the whole world. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my my head out the way. That's, Oh wait, it's on the way. All right. No, you, you're not in Seattle if you're not riding a Segway. Look at that, Mount Rainier. Look at that. There's my there he is. This is my buddy right there. Now, that's the first thing I ever, ever really did, huh? How's that? Isn't that crazy? So, you know, like, I, 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 after that, um, after I made that, then I started doing a few other, like, little intros. Again, check out my channel. I would really encourage you guys to come out and, you know, check out my channel all the way from the beginning. Watch the first episode. Watch everything, you know? Why not? Go on a little Jose binge or what have you. But, um, yeah, so then I just started making a bunch of little things here. I did this little motivational type video, which I think you guys already saw. Um, and then I did like another Ask Jose thing. And then I like, did like this pilot episode um, of this vlog, what have you. Then I started doing, um, you know, little cooking vlogs. And, um, you know, again, I've already shown some of these in a previous video, so I don't want to you know, waste too much time. But some of these videos are some of my more, my more popular videos on, or, you know, and again, like some of the first videos I ever, ever made, you know, making black beans, making picadillo, you know, they have, you know, a, over a thousand views. Uh, and um, they're not as popular. I have more popular videos now, but for a very long time, they were my most popular ones. My first cooking video ever, where I go to the Pike Marketplace and, uh, um, again, just check them out. I, I encourage, you know, I have them on playlists and stuff like that, but please, please check them out. So then, you know, I just kept doing, you know, pretty much every day, chugging along, making a cooking vlog, cooking vlog, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, I went to Vancouver, you know, went to the Pike Marketplace many times. I, I would walk there um, and just many, many, many cool things. So, you know, let me show you. Um, and so a lot of these things are kind of like copyright strike. You know what I mean? Um, you can still watch them. I just, you know, um, I just did, but anyways, I don't want to get in trouble now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some videos that um, are safe, and I haven't watched this, so this is the first time I watched this in forever, and these are short little ones, but again, look, 24 views, this is like the 12th vlog ever, so maybe, you know, this is maybe a few weeks or a month, this is probably like a few weeks to a month into me, you know, doing these videos, so let's just check it out and uh, see what's up, hope I don't cringe too much. So right there, that's in uh, Alki Beach in uh, West Seattle. Um, my first job ever was in a restaurant right by there, like a block away or less. Mutant motherfuckers running around this town and 
That, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is funny. Well, happy Monday, guys. Uh, just a little fair warning right at the beginning of the vlog. This might be a very, very short vlog today because I'm still trying to finish editing the vlogs, you know, all the stuff that I did on the weekend uh, up in Vancouver. I have a full spectrum of things I have to do today. Uh, AKA a million things to do today. I've only done about 500,000 of them, so I still have a lot of them to do, a lot of things that I have to take care of. Um, it's the beginning of the month. It's just too much. But regardless, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing crazy. It's just, you know, what I love about my life, you know, just being able to juggle so many things. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can knock everything out. Uh, I'm going to be trying to film and footage every single little thing today. So it might be a little less talking, a lot more you know, right. time lapse and music and stuff great. like that. So regardless, we've got a vlog. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time today, as usual. And hopefully, I'll be able to knock out all the vlogs and be back on point, be back on track, and have everything set to where it belongs. <laughs> Granted, I did not publish the vlogs every single day, which is something I'm trying to do, but I am trying to make sure that I have a vlog every single day. So it might be a little late just because of the trip. I'm still trying to figure this whole universe out. It's a lot of work, but it's so much fun. It's so rewarding. I love. So I'll be seeing you guys soon. That's right. I love how accountable I was to myself even back then. Just starting out and still, like gonna make it happen. Well, I was in West Seattle and I couldn't resist. Had to stop by Alki Beach, you know. Granted, it's not South Beach, but hey, it's a beach. Yeah, it's like the Pacific Ocean, man. This shit's fucking freezing. Oh my god. I think that's a zombie. 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 Yeah, this is actually a good episode, Nip. <laughs> I forgot about this shit. I forgot about all this. Look at me filming with my phone. They're coming through the window. I'm really pissed. I just had those installed. Um, okay. One's staring at me. Okay, he's definitely a zombie. That's definitely a zombie. This is music. I love it. One, two, three, seven. There are seven zombies in my phone. Anyone? Is anyone out there? Oh, look, West Seattle. There's a West Seattle bridge there. Look at that. Look, going into Seattle. In traffic. Got stuck in traffic. <laughs> really, really bad traffic. Because it took a little bit too long at the beach. But, you know, I hope everyone's okay. I saw the action was pretty bad. I saw it up ahead. Hopefully I can show you some pictures. Now you continue. Say you won't be caught. Uh. So yeah, this the West Seattle viaduct, which is the thing I'm driving on now, doesn't exist anymore. They already tore it down. So now it's like a tunnel. So this 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 area doesn't exist anymore. So a bunch of snow crabs all over the place. Look at that. vlog was this bro so yeah man all right is there more procrastinate not here can get back to work right? yeah let's see what else we got we got more to watch all right next one next one so we got vlog 17 let's see what this one is the short one I picked up, you know, short ones, you know, ones that, because I have all kinds of lengths, 
Again, I was just starting out as a YouTuber trying to figure out this whole thing here, you know? This is like a three minute long. Yeah, me trying to get a time lapse with a fucking automatic. Uh, uh. Again, we're learning their camera, learning how to film, learning how to do everything. This summer, man. Look at that summer in Seattle, man. Yeah, South Lake Union is the area where Amazon is. You know, it's it's again, it's in Seattle. I used to live right by there, but that's like where you know Amazon is headquartered, and and a bunch of the all the tech all the tech cup companies are all around here. And again, there's a lot of money there, as you guys can see. But yeah, like literally on the other side of the lake, I think is uh, like the, that's Gasworks Park over there at the end so yeah i'm on the end of the amazon i'm on the amazon end i think man i was like shooting like in 780 720p or something fucking a bro man i haven't seen this footage in like forever man holy shit Man, you know, I'm not going to lie, man. Seattle was beautiful, man. I do miss Seattle, man. Seattle was a really nice, beautiful place. Especially when the sun was out. And I don't know what the fuck Seattle's turned into now, but... Man, it's a good... Vi another good video, Jose. Fuck, I'll, I'll, again, this is random. I have a random video I picked here. Not bad, not bad. This is actually pretty good for being shitty. Huh. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on to the next one. So then after that, you know, um, you know, I did a bunch of these vlogs. I did the, I did how many of these vlogs, man? There's a lot of vlogs, man. Really check them out. I, I got way better as I went along. I've, I've shown a bunch of these vlogs, man. There's a bunch of really good ones, man. I gotta start making some lists. I'm gonna start making some playlists of my favorite videos ever. Um, there's a bunch of really good ones, you know. Then, you know, after that, I stopped vlogging for a while. I stopped vlogging. You know, here's my dear, my last Seattle vlogs out here. So then I stopped vlogging for a while. And then eventually I moved to LA, and this is like the first videos that I, you know, filmed in LA. Here, you know, I filmed, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys watch it on your own time, but um, here I filmed the video, um, you know, um, for a really good friend of mine painting a mural. Here I filmed the video. This is the first video that I, I hear the art of rolling a blunt. I filmed that um, literally after I lost everything. Okay, literally, I lost everything. And that was, um, you know, I was saved by a few friends, you know, and uh, I ended up uh, scrounging a few bucks, you know, from what I had left. Again, I'll tell you guys a story another day. But and then um, I, I moved in with uh, a bunch of people, all the people that I lived with in L.A. before moving to Mexico. So I lived with a bunch of roommates. And um, the first month after losing everything and moving in with these new people and brand new life and just a fucking shockwave of insanity, um, I decided to create this, the art of rolling a blunt. And it's actually one of more, my more popular videos on my website right now. Um, so and I did that and then I, I, I decided that, you know, um, then all of a sudden Bitcoin, you know, I was starting to get into the Bitcoin thing and then I published that. 
this video that's um, a Jeff Berwick video um, that I just decided to put it on my channel just for craps and giggles and, and it's the most watched video on my channel and then I just here's a bunch of series of uh, you know work professional work that I would just put on my channel you know that I was doing in LA and then BAM the first vlog ever now I'm not gonna bore you with my first first ever crypto vlog you know uh, but again 57 views I was like oh wow that's encouraging 51 views wow that's encouraging and so then I started making a few videos and then I finally made a video you see this one right here it got 4.6 views 4.6 K views now it, it didn't get these views right off the bat. It got like a, a lot of views right off the bat. But I made two videos that were really popular. This one about Cuba and the blockchain. And then this one is a, a blockchain and hash graph. And um, yeah, let's just watch this one about the blockchain, hash graph, and, and Tango. It's still one of the more, you know, popular videos on my channel. It's already losing popularity due to all the Mexico videos. But here we go. Let's try it out. Let's check it out. Morning, guys. Today's December 19th, 2017. All right. See how raw I was. Look at my big cup. I missed that. Thing. I missed my big cuppy um, cup. Apologizing in advance in case my voice is a little, eh. Kind of recovering from a little something I caught from somebody around here. So anyway, um, making a nice recovery. Thanks for asking. <laughs> All right. So today's episode is going to be, today's morning episode is going to be pretty short. Um. Yesterday I didn't have time to make another episode, but I'm kind of glad I did it because uh, when I wake up this morning and I see yesterday's episode, I see it has like pretty much almost more views in all the videos, you know, than, than any other videos that I put out there. And I'm guessing it's just because I put um, a key word in there, hash graph, and it seems to be like the, you know, the new word, the new hot topic. But... Last night I was hanging out with my buddy and we were talking about this subject, you know, talking, talking about all, you know, all this cryptocurrency and technology and stuff like that. But anyways, so this video, as you saw, I just kind of like woke up, made it one day and blah, blah, blah. It was uh, one of my more popular videos. And so, you know, eventually like what happened was that like I just started getting, you know, more excited because you know i was getting you know again 89 views you know uh whatever you know what I, mean? I was getting a lot of views you know and that was a lot to me and so then all of a sudden i was like fuck all right wait a minute let me um uh, let me keep going with this so then i got and i made another video you know um it's like this one right here hey guys how's it going <clears throat> welcome back to another video all right this and i was blogging every day by the way he was gonna be talking about eos just simply eos okay and why i think that eos is gonna you know kick everybody's ass and just be number one reign supreme and that's it and based off of only a few things key things but again a few things okay that which should take it very far number one uh the fact that you know dan larimer the guy that created this has already a track record of creating other platforms just free for the public for the people and you know just trying to expand what this whole blockchain and this new internet 3.0 is that number one is a humongous green flag ding, ding. so this is the first video comes along. so you guys can watch this on your own but this is like the first video that i did that was like uh, uh let me give you a, a quick history you know i did like okay. some actual editing back to when it. I was growing up i grew up in the nintendo days and the atari days so we really want to go back far because before what i was just doing is just recording and uploading recording and uploading and then i was like you know what let me do a little editing um and i remember you know getting my nintendo power magazine and, and electronic games i think it was called or after eg or he, or someone correct me if I'm wrong, EA, I don't know what the fuck, but you know, all these magazines, and I was a big tech nerd, you know, nerd, I love video games, a big video game guy, I love my Nintendo, I was a humongous Nintendo fanboy, okay, <laughs> even though all my friends, real picture of me, of the world, and eventually, um, if you guys are old enough to remember, Atari Jaguar started coming along, the, the, this thing called the CDI, by Philips Magnavox, um, the Jaguar was made by Atari, already covered that. So, yeah, um, and I, I made this, and it was, like, again, pretty popular, you know? Again, still pretty popular on my channel, believe it or not. Um, and, uh, you know, then subsequently what happened was that I just, uh, 
I kept making a bunch of uh, videos and uh, they were getting pretty popular. You know, I would make videos and they were, you know, just like now, you know what I mean? Like I make videos and uh, they were in the hundred, you know, view range, you know, it was mostly 30 views, 50 views, you know, like little views, but eventually I would get a few that would get like a hundred views as you guys can see here, you know, like again, a hundred, you know, 500, a thousand, you know, some of these have gathered throughout, you know, the, the years um, throughout the, um, you know, throughout the months or whatever since I published them. But regardless, as you guys can see, you know, I have a, they're scattered, you know, they're scattered all throughout. Um, some of them get watched a lot still. This one still gets to watched a lot. Some of them, you know, now get rewatched. So when here I talk about the roaring 2020s, you know, again, talking about, you know, uh, you know, I've already been talking about a lot of this shit, you know, I got to start talking about it again some more. But yeah, so, and, you know, I would publish, you know, again, you know, videos, uh, you know, I went to the L.A. Art Gallery, you know, another uh, video on uh, another client, you know, kept, you know, doing the whole Bitcoin stuff, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, eventually I I moved, you know, see, I just kept doing these videos and doing them, doing them. You know, it's all Bitcoin stuff, you see, you know, I kept doing all these videos. And then eventually um, I moved to Mexico. And then as I moved to Mexico, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I started like uh, doing the little Instagram stories. I started doing the, you know, um, man, I'm sorry about the dog barking. Hold on. Sorry about the dog barking. But anyway, so yeah, like I said, I was just, I moved to Mexico um, and I started doing the Instagram stories. I started doing the vlogs. I started doing, uh, you know, all kinds of things. So here, let's watch one of the first um, videos um, I did out here in Mexico. Again, I haven't seen this since I published it. So let's check it out together. This is one of my first Mexico videos, right? I skipped a little bit of the intro. I was just talking about whatever the fuck, but I noticed that I was filming this and I was like, oh shit, wait a minute. I don't, I don't, I, I, I remember it after, I remember it now, but not really. Anyways, this is like a, a few a days after me coming into, look, this is June 10th. So I came, I moved to Mexico, um, at June 5th, June 4th. So this is like less than a week. We'll walk to the neighborhood. Uh, I'll see if I can find a taxi to take me to the I'm walking around with my big ass camera. The, the bus doesn't get there. I wasn't smart enough to take my GoPro. The bus doesn't quite go that far. No. Should have been paying attention. Right. The big camera's great, man. And I know there's vloggers that do the big camera, but the small camera. So you see, look, look, you see how easy it is just pick up a taxi? Yeah. yeah, Easy peasy. Ask him about the taxi prices and shit. Taxis are bad. Always Uber. Always Uber. brings too much attention. Let's skip ahead a little bit. But anyway, I ended up with a really nice uh, conversation with the guy. Really cool, super nice. It was awesome. So, all right, super cool, man. That's, yeah, I think I, I think they so threw. I think they, I got in trouble. This is like uh, um, for everyone out there, you know, for you guys. Uh, look, that's my first time to Walmart, man. Look at that. This is the first time I go in that Walmart. Hilarious, fucking hilarious. The Walmart I go to all the time. You know what I mean? Like I live by here now. But uh, yeah, it was the first time I go in there, and I went with my big ass camera. Country, you know, just uh, 
to be with the locals, man. You know, and I told them straight up, yeah, I'm just here filming your beautiful city. You know, just hanging out, I love it here. I think it's fucking cool. You know, dumbass so tourist. Look at my dumbass. Let me show you guys. Look at my dumbass. You can see the Walmart sign back there. All right, bro. We've yeah. already been there a bunch of times. Let's get in here. Here, I can be a tourist, no problem, you know? Right? Look at my long ass hair. Alright. Let's walk around. Let's get a shopping cart. Alright, I'm attached to a shopping cart. What the fuck, bro? I still can't believe I, the first time I went in there, I went in there with a fucking camera, with a fucking the microphone, the whole nine. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. I'm surprised I was even allowed to go in there. I know I got stopped. I know I got in trouble. I do know that. I remember that. All right, guys. All right, so let's do the tour of the Walmart so you can just get an idea of the prices and stuff. So... Let me just show you guys. Can So man, this is actually a really good episode because look, so I, I, I'm, I'm going through the Walmart. This is my first time ever. I got to put this, I got to highlight this. I got to show you guys. Look at that. I get kicked out, whatever, forgot about, okay, then we go. Look, and then I eat at the, I eat this. So I live right by this place now. I live close to this place. This is Parque Santa Ana. And so, and, um, yeah, here we go. It's fucking hot out here, and then ice is at a premium. But this tastes just like what I used to drink when I was a little kid. Fucking bomb. Lemonade, that's lemonade. Uh, <laughs> just pure lemonade. Like limes, so, sugar, yeah, water. I'm bring some, some soup. Which is, again, something that um, we have back home, so it's just um, some... Yeah, as far as I know, it's like a consomme with like a bunch of chicken and lime juice. Lime, lime, lime. Notice there's a lot of vitamin C, natural vitamin C out here and all the, okay? It's very, very good for um, the male um, system of um, circulatories. It's funny. This church, as you can hear. And I normally... Anyways, hear that. Yeah, I gotta like fix the thumbnail and the tags this on this video. Dumb. This video needs more views. Just boil the chicken with some fucking vegetables and then they put the chicken back in there. So yeah, we go. But you guys can watch this later on your own time. Check it out. Get some views on it. But yeah, you get to see the... Look, look at my dumb gringo dumbass that doesn't know anything about anything. They're trying to explain shit to you guys. Yeah, yeah, they are good though. This shit is good. You guys can check it out later, but yeah, man, that's fucking hilarious. I, I mean, I want to watch it later. I don't want to watch the whole fucking thing now because, wow, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to take a long-ass time. It's already, I already know it's a long recording here. Um, but yeah, man, wow, holy shit, man. That's fucking crazy. I forgot about this little hidden gem. Got a lot of little hidden gems everywhere.
Speaking of which, like I said, you know, there's a lot of little hidden gems everywhere. You know, um, I look, I even for a while then, you know, I started doing live streams and I did that for a while because, uh, you know, that was the best way for me to upload. And then after I did the live streams for a few months, then I got back to making videos again. And uh, that's it. Yeah, a lot of live streams. And then that's it. You know, back to the videos. Here we go. You know. So, yeah, you already know the deal. And so that's it. You know what I mean? The rest is history, guys. You know, where we here we are today. You know, look at this. Look at all the videos I've made. Look at that. Well, guys, that was fun. That was a lot more fun than I thought. Um, I can't believe I found all those hidden gems because, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually recorded this yesterday, but I had some trouble, you know, with the file. It was also very noisy. I was just trying to do a lot, as I always do, trying to jam as much as I can into my day. And, you know, when I was just trying to edit it, it just did not come out. And even when I was recording, you know, the, the, on top of everything else, when I was doing the recording, of um, me watching the videos, the sound was off, you know, I, I was watching videos that I already watched before. So this time around, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna pick some random videos and I'm just gonna narrate and talk and uh, we're gonna go from there. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today and if you really, really, really enjoy my channel, this kind of content, please, you know, check out my library. Again, I have been uploading since 2015. All right, I have a lot of content, all kinds of stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of these videos, as you saw, only have like 40 views, 15 views, you know, 100 views, not even. And they've been up for a very long time. So please show me some love. Show those videos some love. Um, I really hope you enjoy them. Uh, honestly, you know, it was a lot of fun watching this all together with you guys. And uh, I really hope, um, you know, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments. And uh, I really hope that you got this video opens up you know, you guys to the rest of Jose's world, all right? I don't, I don't want to be speaking the third person. So what am I, The Rock? Anyways, guys, you already know the drill. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And now check out the rest of my library on top of that. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of downtime during the holidays. So, hey, why not? So you already know the drill. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys manana. Peace out. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.